my family's all about. A sea of orange and blue in Boston? Illinois men's basketball traveled to the East Coast for its first Sweet 16 game in almost two decades, and its fans followed suit. Baby, this is a Illini nation. We have the best fans in the country. And I knew they were going to show up and show out, so I'm not surprised. Hurricanes at the Garden held a party for the Boston Illini Club before Thursday's heavily anticipated game. Countless chants of filled the bar with the families of Terrence Shannon Jr. and Marcus Damask joining the eager crowd. Once Illinois defeated Iowa State to advance to the Elite Eight, another party was held at Hurricanes on Saturday. And another familiar face made an appearance. It's been too long since we've been able to enjoy this type of run. So for me, I just want to be a part of the, the Illini Nation. This type of atmosphere becoming a reality was hard to imagine over five years ago. But at the time, Brad Underwood was confident that he would soon bring the program back to relevancy. There's no way I felt that we should lose 21 games. And he was like, Dion, this is the turnaround. It was like, from here on out, we're not losing like that. And he told the truth. The last five years, six years, we had the most wins in the Big Ten out of any program. And now we're sitting where we are now. And he predicted it all. Sometimes people might think it's hard nose, but it's what it takes to win championships. You can't be soft on players. You got to be hard on them. From all the players, from TJ all the way down, they're doing what they got to do in order to achieve their goals right now this year and help their Atlanta nation achieve a championship. With the final four appearance on the line, Illinois faced off against title favorite and defending champion UConn. But the Illini's tournament run would not continue. The Huskies took control with 30 unanswered points and didn't look back. Illinois' season was over. I, I dread last days. I, I let the last game the feeling is awful and, and one that you truly enjoy. It, you know, I call it the abruptness of the end. It hits and that group will never be together. And I hope truly when they're brought back to Illinois in 10 years, 20 years, whatever, they remember how much fun they had. It's, it stings right now and everybody's upset right now, but um, at the end of the day, you know, there's two other teams in Illinois history you think of. It's 89 and 2005. It's not like Illinois is going anywhere. Uh, I don't think anyone should be negative about it. Uh, so it feels good to kind of accomplish something that hasn't been accomplished in a long time. Although the Illini fell short, Bardo knows they will be remembered for years to come. It's such a unique mix of players and they represent the school so well that they've done enough work to be immortalized by the best team in, in program history. It's the best feeling ever. It's the best feeling ever.